Hello everybody. At this point, I am going to discuss leverage ratios. So this is one of the ways by which we can analyze the financial statements of a company. When we talk about financial leverage, it's basically referring to the company's capital structure. What is capital structure? Capital structure is describing how much of the company's assets would be financed by liabilities and the equity. Financial leverage ratios would give us the company's solvency. What do you mean by solvency? Solvency is the company's ability to settle its long-term obligations. This is in contrast to liquidity, where in, in liquidity, we measure the company's ability to settle its short-term obligations. This is where we're going to talk about the debt ratio. Debt ratio is a type of financial leverage ratio that gives us an idea of how much of the company is financed by debt or liabilities. Equity ratio, on the other hand, is giving us the idea of how much of the company is financed by equity. Now let's compete for the two types of ratios. But before that, let's first get to know the formula in computing each type of ratio. So for debt ratio, we just simply have to divide the total liabilities by the total assets. On the other hand, for equity ratio, we just have to divide total equity by total assets. So if you have your financial statement with you, particularly the balance sheet, just look at the liabilities, assets, and equity portion, it's normally at the bottom part. You can see the total assets, total liabilities, and total equity. So in this type of operation, we just basically have to substitute the values in the formula. But we have to always keep in mind that the debt ratio and the equity ratio would always be equal to 1 or 100%. So the result of, of course, dividing the values would be equal to 1, or if we transform it to percentage, it's 100%. Now, how do we interpret the values that we get from dividing those amounts? So a debt ratio that's greater than 1 or 100% gives us the idea that the company has more financial obligations than assets, okay? So the higher the debt ratio, the more financially leveraged the company is. On the other hand, a debt ratio that's less than 100% gives us an idea that the company actually has more assets than debts or financial obligations. How about equity ratio? How do we interpret that? When we talk about equity ratio, the higher it is, the higher the company, the company's owners have claims in its assets. So it just basically gives us an idea that the company the company's assets are financed by equity more than the debts. This is important because it also tells us how the company is using its debt to finance its growth as a business. Now let's talk about the debt to equity ratio formula. So this gives us the idea about the relationship of the total liabilities with the total equity or liabilities and equity rather. So we're just basically going to solve for that by dividing the amount for total liabilities by the total equity. How do we interpret the result? A less than one ratio tells us, tells us that the portion of assets provided by the owners would be greater than the portion of assets provided by the creditors. And a greater than one ratio, on the other hand, would tell us that the portion of assets provided by the creditors would be greater than the portion of assets provided by the owners or the stockholders. And if we get an exactly one as a result, it means that the creditors and stockholders contribute equally to the assets of the company. So to sum it up, a high debt to equity ratio would tell us that a company has been very aggressive in 
financing its growth with debt or financial liabilities. In order for us to understand this better, this is a sample balance sheet. So we have here the assets, we have here the liabilities, and stockholders' equity. So take note of the total amounts because these are the amounts that would be used in the formulas later on. So let's solve for the debt ratio. We can solve for that ratio again by dividing total liabilities by the total assets. So substituting the amounts from the balance sheet that I've shown earlier, so we have 2,825,000 for total liabilities and 4,900,000 for total assets. And then we get 57.65%. So take note of this number because we're going to interpret this later on. Now we're going to solve for equity ratio and we get that by defining total equity by total assets. So substituting the amounts from the balance sheet that I've shown, so total equity would be 2,075,000 and total assets would be 4,900,000. That gives us 42.35%. So interpreting the results, it would mean in 57, if the 57.65, that was the debt ratio that we got a while ago, it meant that the company's total assets is financed by Debt. So 57% of the company's total assets was actually financed by debts. On the other hand, the equity ratio giving us 42.35% meant that 42.35% of the company's total assets is financed by the owners or stockholders. Solving for the debt to equity ratio at this point by dividing total liabilities by total equity would give us 1.36 or 136%. So how are we going to interpret this number? The liabilities are 136% higher in comparison to the equity of the company, which goes to show that the creditors provide 1 peso and 36 centavos for every peso provided by the owners to finance the assets okay so i hope the example is clear anyway you can go back can you wind this video and go back to certain points which might not be too clear for you but if there are still other questions in your mind that you want me to address can you drop your question in the question or concern tool forum tool in this module okay so i hope you learn uh, how to solve for financial leverage ratios